In this video, we'll talk through the examples shown in the vertical angles concept. If you haven't watched the first video yet, you should do that so that you can first learn what vertical angles are and then come back to this video. So for example A, it says find the measure of angle 1 and the measure of angle 2. In this picture, we see two intersecting lines and the angles that are vertical angles in this picture are angle 1 and the 18 degree angle. Angle 2 would be a vertical angle with this angle over here. So what we should know about vertical angles is that they're always congruent. So that means that since this angle is 18 degrees, angle 1 also has to be 18 degrees. So our first answer would be the measure of angle 1 equals 18 degrees. Now in order to find angle 2, we have to actually use our knowledge of linear pairs. Angle 1 and angle 2 form a linear pair, and so do angle 2 and ang the 18 degree angle because they make a straight line. That's where the word linear comes from. So linear pair angles always add up to 180 degrees. So if angle 1 is 18 degrees, similarly the angle across from it is 18 degrees, that means that we can figure out angle 2 by doing 180 minus 18 degrees. And then we can get our answer of 162 degrees. So our second answer to this problem is the measure of angle 2 is 162 degrees. All right, let's go on to example B. So example B says, name one pair of vertical angles in the diagram below. So this will let us practice finding vertical angles and also naming angles. So the one pair of vertical angles is actually right here, this angle and this angle. Because if you look at it, these are the intersecting lines, and these are the angles that are formed by those intersecting lines. Don't be tricked into thinking that this angle and this angle is a vertical angle. That's not right, because they don't exactly, they're not exactly formed by intersecting lines. This doesn't go straight into that over there. So the only pair of vertical angles are actually the green ones. So let's just remember how to write those angles. So we always want to name angles with three letters unless it's really obvious what we're talking about with only one letter. But if I just said angle N, you wouldn't know if I'm talking about this angle, this angle, this angle, this angle, or this angle. It could be anything. So if we want to name this angle over here on the left, I should use three letters where N is in the middle. So that would be angle I, N, J. You could also do angle J, N, I. That would be the same thing. The angle on the right, you also want to use three letters to sort of guide yourself around the angle and it would be angle M N L or you could reverse it and do L N M. All right, that's it. Let's finish with example C. So example C says if angle ABC and angle DBF are vertical angles and the measure of angle ABC is 4x plus 10 and the measure of angle DBF F is 5x plus 2, what is the measure of each angle? So let's just draw a picture to start so that we can visualize this. We have angle A, B, C. So that's this angle over here, and A, B, C is 4x plus 10. We also have angle D, B, F, which is 5x plus 2. And it told us that those are vertical angles, so that's why I set it up that way. What is the measure of each angle? So we know that vertical angles are always congruent, so I'm going to set up the equation 4x plus 10 equals 5x plus 2, because those two angles have to be the same. Now you can solve this equation using your algebra skills. You can minus 4x from both sides. 10 equals x plus 2. Once you minus 2 from both sides, you end up with 8 equals x. Now a lot of people might stop there and say, oh, I'm done, I solved that equation. But go back to the question that said, what is the measure of each angle? And actually neither angle is eight. Eight is what X is. So in order to find the angle, we have to go back to the expression for what the angle is, which is four X plus 10 or five X plus two, and plug in our answer for X equals eight. So the actual angle 
will be 4 times 8 plus 10. And 4 times 8 is 32. 32 plus 10 is 42. So our final answer will be 42 degrees for each angle. So the measure of angle ABC is 42 degrees, and the measure of angle DBF is also 42 degrees. You could check that by plugging in 8 for the X over here as well. So those are our answers.